Hey guys, what's up? So today we do have an iPhone 5, ooh, uh, with iOS 9.2.1. I tried to update it to iOS 9.3, but it says it's already up to date, so I guess iOS 9.3 is not available with iPhone 5. I was a little bit surprised seeing that, but I guess uh, time flies or something, or it's just something wrong with my iPhone 5. Uh, this one, iPhone SE, with the latest high-end uh, iPhone 6s uh, processor inside, powerful phone, uh, with the Touch ID as well here, you can see this one does have Touch ID because it's a phone that came uh, 2012 and they didn't even Touch ID then. <laughs> but this one, iOS 9.3.1 updated. You can see the model number and all the good things, SC there on the back, but still same size and uh, same size but more power. So let's do a Geekbench test and start them up here. Let's go. Who is gonna win? Sometimes actually slower iPhones win. I mean, it's kind of like marathon running. You know, you never really know who is doping themselves. Which one? Ooh, as you see here, the power lies in SE. Oh, 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 it's so much faster. I mean, come on, man, come on. Is it gonna fire up the Wi-Fi first? No. No, what's wrong with this? The Apple still, the Apple still have problems with Wi-Fi in newer iPhones. That's weird, man. I wasn't planning on going in here, but now it's just white. I call this the white screen of death, or I don't know. Like it's not nothing wrong with my Wi-Fi, but it feels like. It's something wrong, man. It's something wrong uh, with the App Store on iPhones. Let's try that again. That's just weird, man. Let's go. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. It's fast all, fast all, fast all. Ooh, now, now we're starting to see the power speed. Ooh, 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 ooh. do you see that difference? Just on one app, man. My God, you can really see a difference. And it, that was just a basic app test open. But um, I was planning to run the Geekbench because then you get like, a kind of overall better look on what the power lies in here. So one gigabyte memory here, two gigabytes here, one put three gigahertz clock here, one put 85, still two cores of things. Um, and that with 3.1, that with 2.1. Couldn't update this one more, at least not on my part. At least not on my phone. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a nice difference here because between the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5, I think it's like double the speed or something. It's really nice actually. It's really nice. Ooh, it's already finished. It's like runs this test four times quicker, which is very nice. I mean, 2560 same core score. Sometimes I get 2561. Is one dot higher. Multi core score for the basic stuff, basic, basic, two cores, 64 KB. Uh, I don't know what that means. This is a lot of tests, it's, it's going over. It's not that interesting, but the, the, te the, the score uh, compared to other phones up here, that's the most interesting part. Because you can uh, get an idea of what you're gonna get in games and stuff. So, as you can see, yeah, it really is almost like four times fast all. Uh, when we look at the multi score, 1212. Yeah, maybe not exactly four times faster, but it is fast all. Uh, so, yeah, it's a very, very nice upgrade, especially from if you have an uh, a, um, how do you say it? A phone that's getting old, uh, an iPhone that's getting old, an iPhone 5 that's getting old. I think a lot of people have that because I, I started to get my iPhone 5S to be slow already, so it's very nice, it's very nice, especially for future gaming and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, quickly a video, checking that out, hopefully you enjoyed, and um, yeah, have an awesome day, peace.